Namaste, Kevin. Welcome back to the mat and welcome to this brand new full moon flow. For those who are new here and perhaps stumbled across me on YouTube, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch. And today I'd love to guide you through a really gorgeous 25 minute flow to honor and celebrate the beautiful full moon. So the full moon is a time of energy, it's a time of passion, and it's a time to help light the path that is ahead of us, what is happening, the future that is coming, etc. etc. And this is a really gorgeous full moon as it's the last full moon of 2022. So today we're going to work through a really gorgeous flow, embracing that sense of creativity, embracing that sense of playfulness. So if you need anything to help support your practice today, you can find that. If you want to light anything witchy around you, maybe some candles, incense, work with crystals, then you can do that. But get yourself set up, <laughs> but get yourself set up Kevin, and when you're ready, I'll meet you back here so we can celebrate the full moon. Okay, Kevin, so to begin today's practice, you're gonna to come to the back of your mat in a child's pose. So bring in the big toes to touch, take the knees wide and relax the body down. I'm gonna light my sage here, as always, to cleanse my sacred space and to clear any negative energies that perhaps followed me into this full moon phase. Now, if you work with sage or incense, you can choose to light it here. If not, do not worry. I'm gonna send this sacred smoke all the way from my mat to yours, bringing us together as that collective coven. So wherever you are, start to breathe in deeply. In through the nose and out through the nose. I'm just letting that sage burn away. We're gonna meet in that child's pose, relaxing the body down, but beginning to activate a little bit. So we relax the chest, but we lift the elbows off the mat and start to bring that third eye to the earth. So starting to find that connection with the world above, the world below. All together, taking that deep inhale and that slow exhale. And if it feels comfortable to you, maybe you begin to activate that third eye by rolling the forehead from left to right, massaging the space between the eyebrows. And to celebrate this full moon, not only do I have this full moon flow, but I also have a moon, a full moon reading and meditation, also a full moon journaling session. So perhaps you've set your intention over on those videos, or if you'd like to set another intention now or reiterate the intention you've already set, please do so. Setting it here in the mind and then sealing it with your breath. As together we inhale and then on your exhale press the hands to the mat and meet me in your tabletop position. Stacking shoulders above the wrist, hip bones above the knees and we tuck the toes under. Just gently from here waking up the spine a little bit with a few cat cow stretches. So inhale to drop the chest gaze forward. On your exhale, begin to curve the spine and push the ceiling away. Keep taking your movement here. 
Closing the eyes, start to draw that third eye into how we're feeling today on the mat. Maybe you recognize if this lunar phase has brought up some emotions or brought up some strange dreams, etc. etc. So tune in now and see how what you are feeling. And then without rushing, the next time that you go to curve the spine, you're going to tuck those toes under, lift the hip bones to the sky and meet me in your first down dog for the practice. Beginning to bring yourself into this grounding pose by pedaling out through those legs. Bending one knee, bending another and not doing it with kind of fast and thoughtful movements, really tuning into how it feels to so slowly press into one heel and bend the opposite leg. And then switch it over. Maybe even bringing in some neck movements by nodding the head yes and shaking it no. Before we move into this practice coven by bringing the big toes to touch. On your inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, bend this, knee off to, <laughs> bend this knee off to split dog and begin to draw a beautiful big circle with that right knee in one direction. Yes, move and take it in the other. Before we inhale to meet back in split dog, square shoulders with the top of the mat. On your exhale, engage the core, draw the right knee into the chest, roll through and gently step between the thumbs. Lower back knee down and immediately from here, we're going to pivot the left toes over to the right hand side of our mat. Roll the body up and walk that right foot forward. So you're coming in to a modified warrior two here. Bend deep into that front knee and roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Take the outside of that right elbow on the inside of the right knee. Pull left shoulder to the sky, coming into a gorgeous side angle. Yes, press off the front foot, engage that leg. I'm going to find a teeny tiny bit of ear time here. Left hand floats behind us, right leg floats to the sky. So we find a full body stretch here. Hold three, hold two. On your one, open up the hip, we bend into that knee. Hand takes hold of the knee and open those hips forward. Gaze towards the sky, five. Four, three, two, and one. Keep right leg floating, right hand comes to the mat. From here, we pivot on that left knee, bend right leg off, tuck left toes under, and meet me in split dog. So take as much movement as you like here. Open up that knee, inhale. Exhale, draw knee into the chest. And gently step between the thumbs. Meet me in a split dog by pulling left leg to the sky. Bend at those elbows and forward fold. Beautiful. Two more breaths. Walk the hands closer. Bend at the elbows. Point those toes high to the sky. Holding three, two, and one. Step back with that left leg. Step back with that right leg, take first vinyasa, rolling off the toes, then the elbows lower all the way down. Inhale, find upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hip bones come back to the sky coven, meet me in downward facing dog. We bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky, bend that knee off, split dog, open up the hips. And then begin to draw your circle, so a beautiful big circle with that left knee in one direction. 
move and take it in the other. Before we inhale back to split dog, on your exhale, draw the left knee into the chest and step between the thumbs. Lower back knee down, this time pivot right knee to the left hand side, roll the body up and walk this front foot forward. Bending deep into the front knee, coming to modified warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Take the outside of the left elbow on the inside of the left knee and gaze towards that full moon. Holding here, three, four, two, and one. Extend front leg, roll the body up, find that little bit of air as we bring right hand to the mat. Take a full body stretch. Inhale. Exhale, open up the hips, we bend the knee, take hold of the foot and push the hips forward. Hold three, two, and one. Keep left leg floating, left hand to the mat, and we pivot on right knee, bending left leg off. One, two, three, lift hip bones high, meet me back in split dog. Inhale, exhale, draw knee to the chest. Step between the thumbs and pull right leg to the sky, meeting me in. You're standing split here, bending at the elbows. Forward fold. Holding here. Five, four, three, two, one. Step back, right leg. Step back, left leg. Take that vinyasa, press off the toes, lower all the way down. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, hip bones back to the sky, meet me in downward facing dog. Now if downward dog feels too much, Kevin, drop those knees, come into tabletop or even a child's pose. But if it feels okay to you, stay here for five breaths, breathing in through the nose. Ooh, and breathe it out. <sighs> Taking any kind of wiggles that feels good to you. Two more breaths wherever you are. Inhale. If you're in child's pose, on your exhale, roll first back to tabletop and then come to meet me in down dog. Bringing the big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Bend this knee off, split dog. Exhale, draw knee to the chest, step between the thumbs, lower back knee down and again pivot, left knee over to the right hand side of your mat. Sorry, that seems awkward, I've got it bruised. <laughs> Walk right foot forward, roll the body into a modified warrior two and this time lift that front heel up, sink a little bit deeper. Mm, holding three, two, one, keep front heel up, hands come to prayer, outside of right elbow, inside of right knee, lift the gaze to the sky. Holding three, two, one, lift the body up, extend front leg, find that ear time, and take a full body stretch here. Inhale. On your exhale, option to take hold, of that knee, option to take hold of the foot and extend that leg to the sky. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Keep right leg floating, right hand to the mat. Oh, my knee. And pivot on left knee. Bend right leg off, tuck left toes under. Meet me in. Split dog once more. Inhale. Exhale this time. 
we're going to move to a pigeon pose by springing right knee to that right wrist, lower the leg down, lean forward as you lift left leg up and slide it all the way behind you. Now two options, you can work with that block underneath that right hip and find length through the crown of the head. If it feels good to here, you can engage that core, lift the arms to the sky, bringing them to prayer and take the gaze back. Yes, holding here, three, holding here, two, and one. Hands come to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift the gaze coven. Exhale, walk the hands back to that right knee, tuck left toes under and step straight back into plank. Press off the toes, roll through vinyasa. Beautiful movements to honour the full moon. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hip bones to the sky, downward facing dog. Press into right heel, bend off the left leg, just to ease those hips. Before we bring big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg to the sky, bend knee off, split dog. Exhale, draw knee to the chest, step between the thumbs, lower back knee down, and pivot your way to that warrior two. So walk that front foot forward, lift the heel up, and sink lovely and low. Holding here, five, four, three, two, one. Hands come to prayer, take the outside of that left elbow against the inside of that left knee, gaze towards that full moon. You got it, witches. Inhale, exhale, extend front leg, find that ear time. Right hand floats behind us, lift left leg up, and find your full body stretch. Two options, the first is to take hold of the knee and open the hip. The second option is to take hold of the big toe and extend that leg to the sky. Holding wherever you are, five, four, three, two, one. Keep left leg floating, left hand to the mat. Tuck right toes under, bend left leg off, and we move in to split dog here. Inhale, exhale, we come to pigeon pose. Bring left knee to that left wrist, lower the leg down. We lean forward as we slide right leg back and find our way into that pigeon pose. Again, the option here is to have a block to support that left hip or Maybe you'd like to keep exploring by lifting the hands to the sky in prayer. Three, two, and one. Forward fold here. Almost like you're bowing low to the moon above us. On your inhale, we lift the gaze. Exhale, walk the hands back to that left knee. Tuck right toes under, step to plank. And take your vinyasa, press off the toes. Roll all the way down. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, meet me in downward facing dog. Beautiful. And then this time from downward facing dog, we're gonna lower the knees to the mat and swing those legs forwards. Immediately coming in to a little bit of a forward fold here. Extend the legs, you can soften the knees as much as you like, but we inhale to find length, exhale to forward fold, relax the head down. Two, 
two more breaths wherever you are. Before we inhale, gaze at the toes. Exhale, roll the body up. Hands come behind us. Let's just find a little reverse plank here on your inhale. Lift the hips, draw the toes down, holding three, two, and one. Lower hips, bend knees, hips to heels. Roll all the way back to the mat and hug these knees nice and close to us. So to end this practice today, we're going to choose the pose that most suits us and our energy today. Remembering that yoga is a spiritual practice, there's no ego here, you choose the pose that suits you. If you'd like to come to a bridge pose, you can relax the feet down, arms by your side and lift the hips to the sky. If you happen to have a block around you, you can even place a block underneath the hips so you can relax here. Second option is to come to a shoulder stand by lifting the legs to the sky and using those hands to support the hips. Or the third option, if you have a wheel pose in your practice, maybe you choose to come to wheel pose. Now again, you don't have to do a wheel pose, you choose the pose you want. If it feels most comfortable here to just relax the body down, do so. But when you're ready, you're gonna come in to your chosen pose any pose that feels good to you and we're just going to aim to hold it for a few breaths so when you're ready we find that pose whatever pose that we need keep that breath flowing lovely and strong for three for two and one. Wherever you are, lower the body down and bring the knees to the chest. Slowing down the breath here, embracing any emotions that have come up. Before we hug left knee to the chest, extend the right leg and gently take a twist, guiding left knee across the body. Inhale to the center, exhale, switch sides, bend right knee to the chest and extend it across the body. Inhale back into the center, bend the knees so the knees come to touch. Walk the feet to the edges of your mat and from here you're going to take one hand to the heart, take another to the belly. Focusing now on slowing down your breath, your inhales, your exhales. Feeling the vibrations, the magic running through your body from the crown of the head to the tops of your toes here. Feeling in tuned with the moon above you, its gorgeous, beautiful energy that she's lending you. Being attuned with this online coven and feeling attuned with your yoga practice. The light from the full moon guiding your path. answering any questions that perhaps you've been curious about or have been plaguing your mind.
And if you need longer today, Coven, to let go and relax, then maybe you choose to stay here for a couple more minutes. If you feel ready, you can begin to extend the legs, float those arms up and overhead, and give yourself a gorgeous full body stretch. Before bending the knees, either allowing the body to roll sat to one side or rock yourself into seated. But meeting me in a comfortable seated position, rolling shoulders away from the ears and bringing the hands to the knees. Closing this practice today, Kevin, with one final deep inhale. And a slow exhale, bowing low with gratitude, with love to ourselves, to the Coven and to Mother Moon above us for lending her energy for our practice today. Thanking you so much, Coven, for allowing me to guide you through that a little bit spicy but hopefully painful and creative 25 minute flow don't forget this is just one of three videos that i have up to celebrate the full moon for the final full moon in 2022 i also have a journaling session where it will come up with prompts for you to journal i also have a full moon meditation and moonology card reading also on my channel so you can find out more about that by heading to my channel at the yogi witch but i truly hope you enjoyed today's practice if you did i would love any kind of support for the coven maybe a like subscribe or comment anything at all but thank you so much darlings and i really hope that this full moon brings you everything that you desire everything that you deserve and i hope to see you again soon blessed be coven mm -hmm.